Hey guys, welcome back for the new year. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas New Year's break. Uh, for me, two weeks was enough and I'm well and truly happy to be back into the swing of things. I've been uh, back at work for about two weeks now and yeah, it's good. I'm just hoping that uh, everybody who's still away comes back very soon because it'll be great to talk to you. Anyway, uh, first things first, what I'm going to do this year with the articles that I'm sharing with you is I'm going to be focusing not just on your, on your business, on stuff that's going to help you with your business, but uh, stuff to do with your life away from your business. Because if there's, if there's, one, thing that's I, if there's one thing that I really stick to uh, with whatever I do, it's that anything that I produce, anything that I bother to invest time and energy in, whether it's for myself or whether it's for my clients, is that it's, it's got to have actual value behind it. If it's not providing value, I don't see the point. Um, so what I'm going to be doing with my articles this year is, yeah, I'll be sharing with you stuff uh, to do with, with writing, marketing strategies, the art of selling better to your clients, to uh, promoting yourself to leads, all that sort of stuff that's going to drive more value into what you can provide for your customers and your clients. Absolutely. But I'm also going to be talking about the stuff that's, uh, that's going on outside of business, like uh, the, the mental game, uh, your mindset, mentality, all that sort of stuff. Because the two are connected. It might not seem like they are connected, but if, you, if your business is going great, but your personal life has got areas lacking, then sooner or later, it's going to reveal itself in the results that you're getting for your business. Somewhere down the line, it's going to reveal itself either how you're marketing yourself, how effective you are, um, how efficient you are. So it's important to get both of those things right. I don't see the point in sharing stuff with you if there's not real value behind it. Uh, and that's my commitment to you for the next 12 months at the very least, is to share articles that have actual value behind them, to really uh, focus on that area. So the first article I've decided to share with you, and I shared it uh, last week, uploaded it last week, it, it talks about stepping outside of your comfort zone. Because I know that right now, a lot of you have either strategized the, uh, the coming 12 months or you're in the process of putting together a strategy for the next year when it comes to your business. So what I wanted to ask you first and foremost is, what is the one thing that you may have left off that, uh, that, you may have left off that, that list of goals? And I'll come back to this soon. Because what I've done with this article, uh, this most recent article that I shared, is that I've, uh, I've shared three stories from my life, different periods of my life. Uh, when I was a kid, another story from my mid-20s, and another story from just a couple of years ago. But what the theme is throughout all these stories is that uh, there was something that I really wanted. There was something I really desired. Uh, but in order to have a chance at getting it, I realized that I risked failing publicly with like people watching me, and they would see me fail in real time or that I risked having my dreams given a harsh reality check. And it, it felt quite confronting. I don't know if you've seen the movie Sleeping Beauty, I'm sure most of you have, but uh, just to give a quick rundown, the Disney movie Sleeping Beauty, there's this scene near the end uh, where Sleeping Beauty, she pricked her finger on the spinning wheel, uh, and she's up in the tower, she's fast asleep, and she can only be uh, awakened with a kiss from the prince. But the prince can't just go straight to the tower and rescue her. In order to get to Sleeping Beauty, uh, he's got to he's got to get over this huge like hedge of, of sharp spiky thorns, and not only that, there's this fierce dragon, uh, Maleficent. Uh, she's transformed to this big black dragon with like green eyes, breathing fire, you know. And he's got to so not only does he, does does the prince have to get over this this hedge of thorns, but he's got to slay this dragon in order to get to Sleeping Beauty. And sometimes that's how it's that that's how it feels in this situation. Like there's something that you really want. But then there's all this other stuff you have to go through. There's this massive challenge. It can feel like a, it can feel quite intimidating. You face this challenge, and it's like, in order to get that one thing, I have to go through all this. And it's like, why does it have to be so difficult? And it actually, it's actually frustrating because it's just like, oh man, if I could just reach out and, and have that thing, and not have to go through these challenges, it would be so much better. Uh, but I don't know if that's a good thing for us. Uh, there's a saying I've heard. And the saying is, convenience is your enemy. Think about that. That's for another discussion. Just think about the idea that convenience, uh, more often than not, than not, is actually a bad thing for us. So again, in this situation, if there's something that you really want, but it's, it feels like to, uh, to have a chance at getting whatever it is that you want, you have to put yourself in a position where you, uh, 
your dreams are given a harsh reality check or you fail and you risk publicly failing and you're shying away from that, I'd encourage you to make this the year uh, where you take on the challenge. To identify what that one thing is, ask yourself exactly why you haven't acted on it until now and make this your breakout year. Instead, ask yourself why not and dare to go down in a blaze of glory. Like really, uh, what, there's one thing that I know and I've, I've uh, gone into a further discussion this in the article. If there's, there's one thing that I know, it's that uh, you can either confront that challenge or you can back away from it. And both of, them, both of those decisions carry risks, but I know what, what I would rather risk. Um, and that always finds me taking action on that one thing, daring to take the sword up, uh, to go straight to the, uh, you know, go straight to the, to the thorny hedge and to dare to fight the dragon. So in a nutshell, that's what this article is about, guys. The link, as always, is just down below. So go ahead and click it and read it for yourself, and you can get the full story there. And I would strongly encourage you, as you go about planning the coming 12 months, do you just want this to be another year like so many other years before it? Or would you like this to be your breakout year? Would you like to look back on this year one day and go, you know what, I'm so glad that I challenged myself and that I dared to go down in a blaze of glory. I'm not guaranteeing that you will succeed, guys. You may well still fail, but far out. I, I'm of the absolute belief that your life is so much better for the things that you bothered to try and failed than for the things that you didn't even try to begin with. So take a look at it for yourselves, guys. Go ahead and click the article. Share it with anybody you know that you think could benefit. I know there's a lot of people out there who are holding back something, and this article would be perfect for them. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Make that your number one priority from here. Otherwise, I'll talk to you all again very soon. Happy goal setting, and I'll catch you later.